Super 73 is a, a vet-owned company out of Southern California, which I think is really cool. They've been around in the market for about six years, uh, and they got really famous uh, with their Kickstarter, which was a really fun campaign. Um, they had developed the bikes, and they actually uh, had dressed up the bikes to look like the speeders from Return of the Jedi. Oh, yes. And then they yep. dressed like the Rebel Alliance and had stormtroopers around New York City drinking coffee, and they would rip by them on these bikes that look like speeders. Wow. So everybody was like, what is that? What is going on in the city? And then it would link back to what it was, That's uh, cool. which is an electric motorbike. So Super 73 is the original electric motorbike brand. There are a lot of e-bike brands out there, but right. they're unique in their space because they've modeled their bikes after old scramblers, yep. nostalgic cafe racer styles. And so it's a different look, but you still have all the same function uh, as you would with a pedal assist e-bike. So it's not, it's not exactly an e-bike, but more of an electric motorcycle. We would term it as an electric motorbike. Is it a class one, two, three? Or Great question. Throttle. So they're all class two. Right. You do have thumb throttle. Yep. Um, but you also have pedal assist. Okay. Yeah. So your, your range on these uh, per charge is going to be up to 70 miles on the higher end models. And that is with pedal assist. Yep. Uh, and you're, you're ranging about 50% pedal assist. Um, so level two. Sure. And uh, additionally, um, if you're just going to be full throttle, you're probably going to get around 40 miles. 40 miles. Yeah. And these are hub driven? Uh, yes. Wheel driven? Yeah, basically. hub driven in the rear. Yeah, that's nice. where the motors are. And I don't see any uh, derailleurs, gearbox, or anything. Is it just single? Single, single speed, speed. yeah. Cool. There are 10 speed conversion kits that you can get online. Right, right. Yep. That looks like it has a regular yeah. free wheel in the back. There's a huge community around this, a lot of modifying going on. Yeah. Um, it's a fun rabbit hole to go down because this is becoming a category unto itself right. within the e bike world. Yeah. Um, the tires, are they tubeless? Just like a Motor, like normal motorcycle? No, they, they are tubed actually. They are tubed, yep. got it. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah, so you've got a few different options here. Um, you know, stock, you can have, uh, they'll come with a lizard skin, uh, which is more of a street. Then you have the Badger tire with a little bit more tread, all the way up to the Grizzly tire here, which is uh, featured on the RX. So interesting is, um, oh, excuse me. Do, um, do you guys make double disc brakes? Because there's a disc brake mount here on this side, too. So yeah, this is almost looks like a traditional um, either Manitou or motorcycle fork. Right, and okay. that, that's exactly right. Okay. Uh, so it's an option, but stock it comes as you're seeing it. Got it. Uh, Ooh, it's crazy. Yeah, they're that is fun. Sweet. And uh, <laughs> the, the big news here, you guys, is uh, what we're launching um, next year. So next summer, we're launching a full electric motorcycle called the C1X. Right. which is a true, actual, uh, licensed motorcycle. So street legal, like street legal. highway legal Yes, A uh, hundred mile range will go up to 70 miles per hour. It looks incredible. Uh, you can find that online um, if you look up the C1X. Yep, and uh, r right now we don't have samples on it. It's still in development, but you can see tons of photos and some of the demos. It's, it's gonna be a game changer for people that are commuting in the city. Yeah. We call it a jump bike. So it's for the folks that want to commute on an electric uh, motorbike or bicycle, but they still have to get on the freeway or make an exit. So for them, this is a great kind of in-between or jump bike. You can jump on the highway, jump off to get to where you need to go. And this is the only one with four piston brakes? That, that Correct. Have? Yeah, okay, the RX. Cool. These, are, these are awesome. Yeah. I like the retro look for sure. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. And you guys offering anything for like frame pack or something in the center here to take up this space? Of course. So part of the design language is it, it's meant to look unique, like something is missing. Right. And people wonder, oh, is that a motorcycle? How is it driving? Um, but to, to fill that space, there are tons of frame packs, Molly Web side panels that you could put in there. Uh, there's a million accessories you can find. They're all compatible with most bike components too, which makes it a lot easier to work on. Saddlebags. Totally. Stuff, yeah. yeah, panniers, all of those things. Beautiful. You can, you can hook up to these. Yeah. These are cool. And then can you Bluetooth connect your phone at all? Absolutely. All right, so cool. there's a, a full app that is supported by the brand. Um, there you can uh, unlock new and kind of different ride modes. Um, you can control the bike and you can control even the headlights through the phone app. 
a lot of people will mount the phone to the handlebar and use that as their miles per hour. They can see right. how fast they're going. That is all on the heads up display here as well. So is there, there's a key. Is there, yes. there's a key for the battery, but there's not like an ignition style key. Correct, it's okay. just push, uh, push button start okay. for the battery. Batteries are removable. So in a lot of cases, if you're in a cold weather environment, you wanna bring that battery inside yep. uh, right. so that the uh, rechargeable lithium battery doesn't die um, so, uh, faster. Uh, a, a question we get, um, being a mechanic in the bicycle industry, we see some e-bikes like, e like this. Yeah. Where do you tell these people to go to get these worked on? Yes, great, great because question. Because it's, it's a battle between motorcycle mechanics and bicycle mechanics of who's having to take up that. Yeah. yeah. Well, generally speaking, e-bike shops will work on these. Sure. So, uh, like E-Bike USA is in down and down. E-Bikes right? USA is our number one reseller of Super 73 in the state. They, gotcha. do, they do a great job, highly recommend anybody go down and check out what they have to offer nice and they do a great job of service as well beautiful and are they like a certified service like they have for super 73 they have like tech we're in the process of certifying uh service centers cool. right now but nothing formal yet um any like dongle stuff that mechanics have to buy to like get into not not technically you know, like giant speaking. has their thing Bosch has their thing. Yeah, you know no, I mean? not really. I mean, the hardest thing about working on a bike like this is figuring out what kind of a rack or stand it can hang in. Yeah. A lot well, of times, if you don't have the right equipment, you just have to flip it upside down. Yeah. So. EV, EVT makes one now that's weighted and yeah. gas powered. Yeah. Totally. And Park Tool, of course, Park has Tool. the, the uh, hydraulic one. And I think it's, that's what E Bikes USA uses. Yeah. Is the Park oh, Tool. man, they're, they're amazing. Yeah. Um, sweet. That's, this is just like a little motorcycle. Yeah, super fun. And you don't need a license? No. Because it's all, it's kind of a bicycle? It's class two. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. So you, since we have the pedals on there, uh, anybody can jump on one of these and you're able to ride it on the streets. It will keep up with traffic uh, up to 30 miles per hour if you unlock the app. Um, but really that's more meant for off-road purposes is what they say. Right, right. Uh, of course. Yeah, but yeah, if riding legally on paths, you can, it is class two, so you just have to make sure you're aware of where you're riding the bike to make sure you're following the traffic laws. Can you have a passenger? Of course. I can't, oh. Nice. Yeah, and uh, actually there's some modif modified seats that go further back. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Uh, one of my favorite things to do is take my seven-year-old to school on the front of mine. Yeah, yeah. Um, he, it's a blast, he loves it. It's, we get a lot of, of it. we get a lot of older uh, traditional cyclists, older people that come in, and they're skeptical of like e-bikes, but I'm like, dude, you did your time. Just get an e-bike and like keep riding. Keep enjoying it. Keep that adventure going. Exactly. These yeah. are cool. Well, thanks for the yeah. taking the time. Yeah, thank you guys um, very much, both. Yeah, absolutely.